All right, we are in the bottom level, basement level, terrace level, whatever you want to call it. And there is the front deck. Now, all this room is basically going to get gutted, okay? I believe a lot of the furniture is staying, but not in here, okay? In this room, this is all antiques. The owners are antique dealers, so I believe some of this is their personal stuff. But this wood, this paneling is reclaimed paneling from a house of somebody that was once, many, 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 many years ago, the mayor of Atlanta. All right, bedroom number one. Good size, I believe there's a queen in there. Easily fit a king, no problem. Double bunk if you wanted to, great view. Access to the port patio or the deck. So again, bedroom number one. I think this is pretty neat here. Washer, dryer, and there is a, uh, a deep freeze on that side. So it's downstairs, which is nice. Walk around here in another big room. Again, that is a king. Uh, you could, you could double bunk this room easily. Now, she said the headboard is likely going because it was the first piece of furniture her husband and son made together. But I love this accent wall that they did with reclaimed lumber. And it kind of matches the green that they've done through here. And this is kind of a Jack and Jill. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Well, yes, it is because you can go through here. So if people are downstairs, there's another... There's another toilet in here. So there's actually kind of two toilets in this suite. Um, and if people are down here shooting pool, you can do that. And just so you know, this was once a pool room noted by these three lights. They had the pool table right here. So you could easily set that up. And again, washer dryer. Now a little nook for some decoration. This is dry storage slash utility room, okay? You can, you can imagine if you have extra furniture, whatever, keep it in here, lock it up. Be a great place to do it. So good dry storage there. Let me go up the stairs. And here we are on the main floor. And it is beautiful. Okay. It looks like a lodge. It is, it is awesome. Um, very nice, very spacious fireplace over here. It has a gas starter, but wooden logs. Again, wrap around deck, and we'll get a better look at that. Now let's look at the, the kitchen area. Loft above it, okay? I like how they have the recessed refrigerator. That door right there is the pantry, good size pantry. Again, this is beautifully finished under here. I don't even know if the light's gonna pick it up, but all this, you can tell all this reclaimed stuff that they did. Again, they were, they're antique dealers. They did a tremendous job. Uh, dining room here, awesome, awesome size. You could put a much bigger table in here. You could put a 12 seater in here if you wanted to. Go out to the deck. Again, another hangout area and all this stuff stays. So you have, people can congregate just behind me in that room. And this is a little faux fireplace thing but they got a built-in fridge. You want to keep your wine or your uh, your cold ones in there, your Coca-Colas, whatever. Um, but great place to be. Again, it's raining, so I'm not going to stay out here too long. But it is it is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to walk you around and go to this is the next little hangout area. Look at this fireplace, television. So there is entertainment galore. Now, let's go back into the main. Back into the living room, hangout area. And let's go to the next bedroom. This is bedroom number four. King bed in here, and it fits in here easily. If you wanted to double bunk this, you could. Again, you have access to the little patio with the fireplace and the television that we looked at earlier. Um, this is awesome. Really big room. The bathroom associated with it. Okay. Closet. Not a big closet, but you don't need a big closet here. And as you can see, we're on the main level. So there's the outside. There's the portico. 
And all that's left is to go up here and just show you, get a better look at the kitchen. It's, it's a good, it's a decent sized kitchen. I think it's perfect for, you know, people here doing just a little bit of cooking or whatever. I, it's not, it's not a massive kitchen, but you wouldn't want it much bigger because it's going to take away room from this. And I'm going to tell you, this room here is a showstopper. All right, let's go up. Here's the little loft. And it is that. It's just a loft. They've got one twin bed up here right now. But you could put another. So you have one twin bed here. You could potentially put this twin bed over there. And you can put, she said at one point in time, she had another twin bed in this little area here. And you could put it there. I mean, it would be low. But, you know, when it comes just to sleep and if you got a little kid, it'd work perfectly. No problem. So, and let me give you a better view of the outside of the great room. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see the, the creek through there, but you won't get a much better creek view from your front porch than that.